Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I don't know how people do these things introduction wise, but anyway. But anyway, today is not about the makeup, today is about the lips only, and I thought it would be a great idea to do a little how-to tutorial, and I'm redoing the trophy wife lips that I did on my IGTV. Basically all it is, it's just how to give the illusion that you have slightly thicker lips without going through the pain of the injection. That's it. That's all it is. Um, it's a fairly simple uh, tutorial. The main technique or trick to doing this is just remember your contouring and highlighting principles or rules, um, using something darker to recede and using lighter products to emphasize and that's basically all it is. I hope you learned something and enjoy the tutorial. I will get back to doing really wowy looking makeup probably in my next video or so. But until then, this is how you get thicker looking lips. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and leave me a comment if you want. Just jump right into the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're obviously going to prime our lips and I'm using the Prep and Prime Lip Base from MAC. You can use any primer that you have. We just need something to smooth out the texture of our lips. And just a base that will hold up the whole lip look. Okay, so now we're going to overdraw our lips slightly. Try to follow your lip shape, but just go over the edge slightly because you don't want to take your actual lip shape away. You still want to keep your, your lip shape. We just want to make it look a little bit bigger. So we're going to go and overdraw the centers, but keeping the outsides very small so that you have a very pinched look in the corners and then something slightly thicker in the center. So that's what we're going to do. Try use a lip pencil that is two to three shades darker than your lip but nothing like a dark brown or a dark gray brown or anything like that try and keep it the same sort of tone as your lipsticks or your skin tone just slightly darker so the shade i'm going with is my oak lip liner pencil from mac So I'm still following the shape of my lip, but when I get to the center, I'm just going to draw just slightly out the edge of my lip. And just go underneath like that. And then another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to shade in the corner of, well, the corners of my lips, top and bottom. Just gonna bring it in ever so slightly. And because we have the base down, your pencil should be gliding pretty smoothly. So that you have that. I'm gonna keep the center open because that's what's going to create the effect of the lips. Okay, so now we're going to fill in the lip. So you can take any nude lipstick that you really enjoy wearing. Just try and keep it to the same sort of tone as your skin or something slightly pinkier. So the lipstick I normally tend to use is my Viva Glam 2 from MAC. I don't actually have the lipstick, but I have the palette inserts. So it's the shade here. It's quite a neutral, very universal nude shade. It pretty much goes with a lot of skin tones. And then, obviously, because I don't have the lipstick, I need to apply this with the brush. So I'm going to use my 316 lip brush from MAC. So 
as you can see it's pretty much the same color as my lip but it's still lighter than the pencil which is a good thing it's always good to keep in mind that you need a lipstick that will match your lips and etc but not to dim down that pencil we still need to kind of see the pencil So you can see I've taken it right up to the new lip line that I've created for myself. It's still my lip shape, just slightly thicker. Okay, so now we're going to go in with a lipstick that needs to be quite light so that we can use it to highlight the center of our lips. So the color I've chosen comes from the lip palette that I've created for myself with all my lipsticks. The color I'm going to go in with is this first shade here, which is Myth. It's one of the lighter shades that MAC um, has created and is in their lineup. So any milky, almost white kind of lipstick that you have, anything that you can use that's light to highlight your lip, that's the kind of lipstick that you need. And then I'm just going to go in with my 316 brush. You're almost kind of doing like an ombre lip, but not really. So, just patching it in. Both the lipstick textures I've used are satin lipsticks. So they're not quite matte, but they're not super glossy or creamy. So they're not going to move. Not move easily, at least. Um, so try and keep to matte products so that it lasts because the minute you put gloss over anything it does the lipsticks do tend to move around so try and keep to your matte and satin textures so that it lasts longer Okay, so now we're just going to clean up the edges of the lip slightly. Um, we are going to use a concealer and an angle brush to do that. So the concealer I'm using is my Shio Fix 24 Hour Smoothwear. And I'm using a 208 angle brush, both from MAC. This is the smallest angle brush that they have. And all we're going to do is we're just going to kind of, not outline, but clean up the lip so that it has a little bit more of a protrusion to it and a lighter or a shade the same tone as your skin does tend to have that effect on the lips so that's what we're going to do we're just going to pretty much clean up around the liner but also kind of use it as a highlighter i'm just going to take some off the doe foot applicator i'm not going to actually pick up a lot um because this can go very wrong if you have too much on your brush and then keeping the longest angle facing out. We're just gonna clean up that lip. Okay, so then just to show you how I do the top, keeping the long side so we're going to hold the brush this way ah. so keeping the long side in closest to your cupid's bone and the shorter side to the outer part we're also just going to clean up the edge and then pull out that product Okay, so now that we have the foundation of the lip done, we're going to go in with a plumping lip gloss just to obviously enhance the center of the lip. And in doing a gloss in the middle, 
it catches the light which immediately gives the illusion of a thicker lip so the plumping you don't have to use a plumping glass you can use any lip gloss but i think a plumping lip gloss will do the trick better because it's already there to enhance and create the illusion of a thicker lip so the one i'm going in is from buxom cosmetics it's in the shade samantha and we are only going to apply this again to the center of the lip cool so if you want you more than welcome to stop here this is a more natural take on trying to make your lips look thicker but if you want to go the extra mile then you can add some highlighting and contouring to your lip so i'm going to go in with a highlighter you want something that is going to be super beaming and this is the most intense highlighter that i own at the moment it's the hyper real glow palette from mac so it comes in three shades like this and i'm going to use the lightest one which is this one here um, this palette is called Flash and All by the way. So I'm only going to highlight my cupid's bow and I'm going to use a small little shader brush to do that. This is um, the JH42 from Morphe. Just on top of the cupid's bow is where I'm going to highlight. So I'm just going to pop it on the top here. And just like that so it'll emphasize your cupid's bow quite a bit as well but when the light catches this anything in the center will increase its volume and then the other trick that i have in mind is now that you've highlighted is to create a shadow under the lip which will also give the idea that your lips are protruding so i'm just going to use the same small shader brush and I'm going to go in with a cool toned brown shadow. So nothing too dark, but it has to be cool toned because if you do something warm, it will make your lip look very muddy or like you have something that's not supposed to be there. So I don't have a super light one, but I'm going to be light handed. So I'm going to go in with the shade here. It's a matte eyeshadow from MAC. It's called Espresso. Yes, it does need to be matte because if you add a shimmer, it's going to do the complete opposite and the light will catch that and then your lips won't look thick anymore. They're just going to look wide. So I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of that with that small shader brush and I'm just going to tuck it in right underneath there. It looks a little dark, but I literally have not picked up that much be very honest and then i'm just going to go in with a soft blending brush i have a soft angle brush here it's part of this really that i use and we're just going to soften that and blend it out but we're just going to keep it in that area there Cool. so if I had to come away that little shadow already makes my lip look like it's coming out and that my lips are quite thick cool so that's the finished lip look I think I did go a touch too dark it will look better if you use something like Omega or Wedge from MAC those are really light cool tone shades um, but I don't have that so I had to make a plan and it looks just a touch too dark but it's funny you can always just blend it out but yep that's pretty much the tutorial on how to give yourself the botox look lip without actually getting any injection or any pain because i know that hurts and i know it costs a good on arm and a leg but anyway thank you for watching the tutorial you can totally do this with a nude or a color lipstick just keep in mind your um contouring and highlighting um principles so always use something darker to recede something lighter to emphasize if you've got that down then this should be an easy lip tutorial 
anyway and i'll check you in my next video